Hello everyone and welcome to Scrapping Beauty. As always, my name is Cassandra and thank you for watching this 12 by 12 process video. Today I will be working with the new These Days collections by Coco Vanilla Studio. I am super, super excited to crack into this collection. I have chosen to use a cut file that I've cut out on my Cricut from Confessions of a Paper Addict. I'll leave their link to the in the description box down below they are my go-to cup file people and it is of a stack of cup of teas or teacups I have backed the cup file with pattern papers from the A5 paper collection of these days I've done that off camera I've then got a photo of my favorite book a candle I've gotten for Christmas and a cup of coffee from my new coffee machine and I have backed that one as well it's backed with an A5, um, an A5. It is backed with an A4 piece of white cardstock, just regular white cardstock. I've cut that down and then I've matted it on the A5 neighborhood um, piece of paper. Um, it's the one with all the houses on it. So I've also done that off camera just to save a bit of time. I'm now coming in and sticking this cut file down. I like the fact that it's really vertical. It doesn't take up the whole page. It just takes up the side of the page, and, which is really good. And the piece of wooden paper that I'm using for the background is also from the These Days collection. As you can see here, I have put my adhesive on in the wrong order. <laughs> I really should have pulled the tape off the back of the double-sided tape before putting the glue onto the cut file. Lesson learnt, and please learn from my mistake. It just makes a mess when you do this. It really does. And it makes it difficult to get rid of that because you can't pick it up and bend it or anything like that because it's got glue on. Whoopsies. <laughs> so now that I've got that tape off, we'll flip it over and stick it down on the left-hand side there, making a very vertical kind of column. And then I'm going to stick down my photo and I'm going to kind of half overlap my photo over some of the cup file teacup handles there and I'm going to put it under it depends where the teacup handles fall in my photo if they're going to cover up anything important I've put my photo over the top um, otherwise they can overlap the photo to add a bit of interest as always I'm struggling with the tape as well <laughs> and you can see here how I'm overlapping them let me just say hallelujah for being able to see what I'm filming because otherwise I would have filmed the whole video crooked previously. So it helps with the new studio. The lighting isn't perfect though and I have found a way to improve that since making this video. So from now on hopefully it will be a bit better. I am now taking some thickers. They weren't part of the collection but I'm taking some thickers. They're called Rockabye. Um, by American Crafts. They are available in our store as well as the These Days collections. So I will leave a link down below. Please feel free to check it out. We're an Australian business. Technically, that's paid promotion, so it will be part of the video. And you can see here I'm spelling out my words with the thickers. It's a bit hard to see on camera because of the lighting, but they're a lovely white color. And I just, even though I had a full unopened pack of thickers, I decided just to say cuppa instead of cup of tea, which is, I think it's very Australian. I'm not sure if it's said in a lot of other countries, but cuppa is, Australians will shorten anything. Now I'm taking the puffy alphas from the collection and I'm going to back them onto some white cardstock because they kind of blended into that wood grain background piece of paper as you can see here. I am fussing around with it. So I'm going to put it on some white cardstock and then fussy cut around them just to give them a little bit of a border and give them a little bit of an emphasis. I try and try and try with all the different colors but they just they really just blend in. I have to say though I am so happy that Coco Vanilla Studio has come out with some mini alphas because they're so handy in all of your titles. They really are. And I love mixing up my letters so that I use one colour and then another colour. I just love it. So here I am. I'm going to take the A4 piece of cardstock that I cut the matting for my photo out of. 
just stick them on there. Normally I'd use a bit, like some glue with them, but they're so tiny. I decided just to just to leave them without the glue and rely on the adhesive for the alpha. And here we go. You can see how much that stands out now that it's been fussy cut with a white border. The white border is very tiny, so it doesn't take much away from those alphas. It just helps determine that it's there and not part of the background. So I've come in, I've glued them down, and I'm going to come in with the word book. So my title will be Cuppa and a Book. And I really like how they, I'm going to call them minor words in the phrase, or in the tiny alphas. I really like that. So I am committing, I am sticking it all down. Sometimes it takes me a little while to do that, but I really liked it. Then I'm going to use my fine liner bottle with my favorite tacky glue in it just to really get on those letters and you'll see that I end up spilling some glue anyway onto my layout. So <laughs> it's a bit of a messy process, but there was no way I was going to get double-sided tape on the letters. And here we go, last letter here. I am then going to come in with some of the ephemera. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to put on the layout. I knew I wanted to use the two houses down in the bottom corner because this was taken, I believe, during lockdown and we had to stay home. Um, so the houses really fit and I wasn't sure where I was going to use them again. So they became part of the collection or part of this layout. So I'm just using some double sided tape because at that point I was sick of glue <laughs> um, and I'm going to stick them down. I was tossing up whether I was going to cut the edges off this piece of paper and make a border, but in the end, I don't end up going with that. So I've decided to stick them pretty much on the edge of that page, uh, like the page. Then I'm coming in with the floral ephemera. And I didn't want too big of a flowers, but I knew I wanted to use flowers because the teacups have flowers on them. And I've used the pink spotty um, A5 sheet of paper. The yellow checker sheet of paper, the ombre of rainbow sheet of paper, but just in the yellow section. And the green is using the same green leafy paper in the teacups. So I knew I wanted to kind of match and bring those colours over the other side of the layout. And I'm doing that with some yellow and pink flowers. I also like the fact that there's these kind of skeleton leaves where they've drawn the outline of the leaf but they haven't colored it in it's left white and I really like that very sketchy kind of style so I'm going to come in and just glue them down I've put a bit too much glue on that one so I grab another piece of ephemera and wipe some glue onto that which is what I'm doing and then I'm going to come in and just stick them down and overlap them over the houses so all of that cluster is joined together just like so I'm then going to go to the 6x12 sheet and I'm going to have a look for a tiny word phrase that goes with this one. And I end up going with grateful because I was grateful to have the time to sit down and read a book. And this has to be my favorite story. It is called Name of the Wind. If you haven't read it and you're a big fantasy book reader, I suggest you do. Um, there is a sequel to it and it is equally as good. I am then going to build another cluster at the top. I had that little tiny ephemera piece that says captured, which I thought was very fitting. And then I'm coming in with another pink and yellow flower and a coffee mug that says good day. That's green. So it ties in a little bit of that green. And I thought the coffee mug was very fitting. So I'm going to come in and glue them down. You can see that it also joins in my title and brings your eyes to the title. So everything kind of flows. It's got that visual triangle going that sweeps your eyes over the photo and the title and brings it all together. So yeah, I absolutely love it. It was such an easy layout to do. I am then bringing in another tiny word sticker that says precious. A lot of the tiny word stickers talked about being together and that wasn't the case in this photo. So it was a little difficult finding the tiny word stickers to go. 
And then coming in with the puffy stickers, this one here is a floral and I'm like, do I want to put it over there with the other florals to bring a bit of texture in there? In the end, I don't end up going with it at this point in time. Then I'm coming in with these enamel buttons and I absolutely love these. They're fantastic for texture. Initially, I thought I would put them in the middle of the flowers like so. And looking from this perspective, I like it. But when I was making the layout, I did not. So I decided to move the bottom ones around and I try them in all different places. Putting it over in this cluster, it was just below the other one and it, I didn't like it. So in the end, I end up going with just the one up the top, just the yellow one. And I, I'm not sure what it's got in it. I think it might have a cup of tea possibly. I know one of them did. So I just end up going with that one. I end up bringing that flower back in. That's how indecisive I am to add a little bit of texture over that side. And then what I love about these puffy stickers is they've got the little tiny puffy hearts all over the sticker sheet where there's room. So I decide to pop some into the different clusters. I put three in each cluster. The teacups are included as a cluster, so they get some too. And I think they're just the perfect little thing to fill in the gaps because they're so useful rather than leaving big gaps in the sticker sheet. I'm going to come in with this banner that says my happiness. It is from the 6x12 sticker sheet. And then I'm going to come in with a white gel pen that changes to a paint pen and put in my journaling. My issue with the gel pen was it was running out, so I had to switch to my white paint pen. So that's my journaling. It just talks about how it's my favorite book. And then I'm going to come around the edges and put in a drawn border with that white paint pen just to tie it all together. Very rough, very rustic kind of border. And to finish it off, I'm going to come in with some blue crystal nouveau drops. I think this one's called like ice or something. So just a reminder, we do have a lot of these products used in the layout in the shop down below. Feel free to check it out. It will be linked. We've also got a Facebook group and an Instagram, which will be linked down below. The Confessions of a Paper Addict cut file website will be linked down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.